Good morning. Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? This summer, we have been learning all about the fruit of the Spirit. Let's go over just quickly what the fruit of the Spirit are. Now, remember, the fruit of the Spirit are what we can have because we are followers of Jesus. And because we are followers of Jesus, we receive an amazing gift. And that gift is the Holy Spirit, right? Now, the Holy Spirit is inside of us and helps us to grow and to learn and to show the fruit of the Spirit with other people so that they can learn to love and follow Jesus too. Now that fruit, remember, it's not the kind of fruit like apples and oranges, like plant fruit. The fruit is called life fruit. It's a way that we show that we're becoming more like Jesus. Let's see if you can remember. What are some of the fruit of the Spirit that we've already talked about this summer? Can you say them with me? We've talked about love and joy and peace and patience and kindness. And today we are going to talk about goodness. Today, our fruit of the Spirit is goodness. Has anyone ever said to you, be good or you need to make a good choice? I am pretty sure you've heard those words before. I know I have. And I know I've said those words to some boys and girls that I know. You know, the fruit of the Spirit goodness is doing what is right in God's eyes. Making a good choice because we know that is what God would want us to do. But it's not always easy, is it? Sometimes, well, when we are left on our own, we do not always make the right choice. We make mistakes and we don't do what's right in God's eyes. I want to tell you something in the book of Galatians. Now I know that you've heard that name before because that is the same book in the Bible where we find the fruit of the Spirit. Now in the book of Galatians, do you remember who wrote these words? Yep, it's Paul. Paul wrote some other words in the book of Galatians. In Galatians 6 verse 10, Paul says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. Paul also says that we should never give up, that we should always try to make a good choice. Hmm. So if we want goodness to grow in our lives, then, well, we need to learn how to make good choices. And we need to stay connected to God in order to do that. You know, God is always good. And everything he does is good. So with God and his help and the help of the Spirit, we can learn to share this kind of goodness. The kind of goodness that God wants us to be. God can change our hearts. He can show us how to be kind and compassionate. And he can lead us to those good choices. After today's lesson, there will be a video posted on our Facebook page that I'd like you to watch. Now, this video is a story, um, a story that Jesus told, a story of the Good Samaritan. Now, you probably have heard this story before, but this is an important story. It's a story where Jesus is teaching others how to be a good neighbor and how to make a good choice, the best choice. So when you watch this little video about the Good Samaritan, I want you to think. Think about goodness and think about who in the story is making the best choice, a good choice. And what choice did he make? 
that makes his choice the best one. So go ahead and watch that when our lesson is over today. But before we go, I have something that I want to show you that might help you understand a little more about goodness. Do you see this vase right here? This vase, we're going to pretend is you or me. And in our lives, well, in our lives, we are going to be faced with lots of choices. And sometimes those choices are going to be difficult. And when we are left on our own, guess what? We often do not make the right choice, right? But when we have the help of the Holy Spirit, well, then things might become a little different. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit and with his help, it is easier for us to know what to do. It is easier for us to make a better choice. Do you see where the arrow is pointing now? It's pointing to good choices. That's right. Only with the help of God and the Holy Spirit are we going to be able to let those good choices come out and share them so that other people will be able to see the goodness in us. Let's pray together today. Fold your hands, please. Lord, thank you for showing us that you are a good God and that you made all things good. Thank you that even though we struggle sometimes to be good, that you've given us your spirit to be with us and show us how to be more like Jesus. May each of us open our hearts to you and allow the Holy Spirit to work in us. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have a great day. And don't forget, watch the video about the, uh, the Good Samaritan and keep on thinking about goodness. How can you show God's goodness with others?